Hello once again and we're going to be taking a look at the Glundig GUFSAT 01 HD um, free sat HD box and this is 10 years old and um, I thought I'd do a review on it because it still works and it works very very well indeed um, yeah so free sat basically it's a satellite basically free view with satellite that's it um, so we do got basic controls here your volume and your channel why would you need volume you got that on your TV and your standby button of course that's all the buttons that you get because you've got a remote control um, with all your other all your key features yeah so let's have a look at the box so here's the front of it um, Grundig Freesat and let's take a look at the back right so you get your um, satellite in we get a satellite out for some reason LMB LMB out um, SPDIF audio HDMI um, Ethernet for some reason I've never used the Ethernet um, two SCARTs obviously if you want to use it you don't have to use it for HD can you use the SCAR instead? Um, plug it into your VCR. <laughs> you got to remember this is 10 years old, but I don't know if we were still using VCRs back then. Maybe, maybe we were. I don't know. Um, I was well and truly on DVD by then. Um, and an RS232 lead. Well, pull rather. I wonder what you'd use that for. No idea. Obviously, I don't use the LMB out. It's the LMB in for your satellite um, dish, which is basically the satellite's basically a normal sky dish. Um, that's it. So obviously, your DC 12 volt in, and that's it. So next step is to plug it all in. I forgot to mention it does come with um, a DC power thing. So it is, yep. Yeah. And that's lasted 10 years, it's the original, so all good. Right, now the unit's switched on, so what I'm going to do is not try and show you what's on the telly, because I don't want to get it done for copyright, but I've, I've muted the sound, but we're just going to show you it anyway, so ignore what's going on over there. Let's, because you get a little bit of, get of a picture inside your menu. Right, so you push menu, so you are oh, got all your... Um, settings here network settings obviously you can connect it to a network if you wanted to don't know why but there you go um push menu again no oh god no menu oh menu oh right no settings right okay I haven't done this for a long time, so you've got your network settings, generous settings, obviously you can go on that, you can switch that on and off, um, TV screen size, you get um, 16 by 9, 4 by 3, whatever all this is, yep, so you can change all that if you want, so I'll just keep mine on widescreen, right, okay, H HDMI output, so 1080i, don't know, it's I not P for some reason, that's what it can output, print or send in, so you can set all that if you want, menu off, change all that, receiver upgrade, upgrade automatically, okay, manual, I've never updated it, so I don't know, first time install, so you basically, parental lock, I think it's, I think it's zero 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 zero. Then you can perform install. So what this will do? Make sure your digital box. Okay. So this will s set up your channels. So this would be the first thing you would see. I just hope it don't take too long, cause. I never really had to do this. Mind you, it hasn't been updated for a while. So, okay. 
right, push OK to continue. Postcode. So you can put your postcode in, and it'll probably and it'll find them in your area. So we're close to Croydon, so ours will be picking up from Croydon. So just pause that for a minute. Right. So once you um, put in your postcode, push enter, and it will start um, scanning for all your television programs. So here we go, it starts the scanning straight away, it's pretty quick, being digital. Well, satellite, not di yeah, it's satellite digital broadcast, um, and sometimes it can take a while. But you can see it's doing it pretty quickly, so we're up to almost done. So not only it finds TV stations, it finds radio stations as well. So perhaps it's good to do an update because they're always updating it. So once that's updated, it'll take you to the TV. We won't, um, we'll just go to menu quickly. Oh, hopefully. So that's, let's go back to settings. So we've done first time install. Show, you can put in non-freesat services and add non-free services. But you've got to really know what you're doing on that. Okay. So now we've done that. Exit. Where's the exit button? I can't find the exit button. Oh, exit. Where is the exit button? <laughs> I can't find the exit button. Oh, duh. It's right there, look. Okay. So let's go to menu again. Keep things down there. So TV listings, so this is all the channels it's found. We ain't going to go through them all completely, can you see that? So, yeah, it's just some of the channels. So you also got your colour buttons there, so if you want to go to somewhere quick, show TV listings, show favourites, or blah, blah, blah. All right, we'll go to the menu again. You can even select the language if you want. So we know how to do it. Just push that. Audio language, subtitle language. Okay. We exit out of that. Menu. And information. So this will give you the, the manufacturing, the model numbers and all that. Okay. So that's basically it then. Just a basic setup and showing you a 10 year old... Um, Satellite preset receiver, and yeah, 10 years, and it's still working fine. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.